Hello, my name is Christopher and today I'll be showing you how to install Cosmos Cloud on Proxmox. This is a newer system, kind of like Umbrella and um, uh, Casa OS. This makes it to where you have a more secure environment. It, uh, it has DDoS protection and uh, rate limiting. It has a proxy built in, so it's really neat. And a user actually suggested it. So I thank you for that and keep the suggestions coming. And uh, so a little bit about this series is I'm going to uh, install a smart home from scratch. So I'm going to be going over installing software to getting servers running, to uh, getting home automations running and everything like that. So subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And let's get started. Just wanted to interrupt your regular scheduled programming for Thank you so much for 100 subscribers. It means so much to me, and I'm so glad I'm able to help so many people out there with technology and get things running. So uh, let's get back to regular scheduled programming. So a little bit about uh, Cosmos Cloud, uh, going over about it. Um, it's a self hosting software so you can host any docker container you want in it and uh it's it that they say it's fully secured and set up out of the box it integrates your, uh, your setup and then uh it's got strong security with uh multi-factor auth single sign-on anti-bot anti-ddos auth and two-factor authentication at marketplace to where it's one click install reverse proxy container management to where you can you can manage the containers the volumes and the networks through ui it's got user management so you can invite people into it and how does cosmos protect me a smart shield it's got anti-bot and anti ddos single sign-on and modern security with encryption uh containers Docker and then and even an alley in so you can join their community right right here github discord and reddit so I'm gonna go over to the github real quick and um, so you can see that seven hours ago so it's it's being updated it looks like uh, it's got smart shield technology, automatically secure applications without manual adjustment. See below for more details. So let me see what's the. So what is smart shield? Dynamic rate limiting, adaptive actions, user bans and strikes, global request control, user based metrics and privileged access and customizable policies. That's, that's some really neat stuff that they packed into it to make it more secure. So th this will be perfect for somebody who's just getting started or anything like that. And you just run the Docker a run and you bring it up and you go to your IP. So we're gonna get to installing it now. So uh, we're gonna start with uh, Debian on the system. So we're gonna have to install Debian and I'm gonna use the Proxmox VA helper scripts for it. And I'm going to go into the GitHub just to show you what uh, will be going on. So let's go on the CT and then let's type in the search box Debian. And then you'll see that it's setting up default settings, 512 megabytes of RAM. The OS's operating system is going to be Debian, then it's going to be Debian 12. Uh, here's the update script when it's running the LXC, and then start, build, container, and description. And then now I'm going to go over to the install. It's going to update the operating system, network check of course, and then it's going to install dependencies, curl, sudo, mc, then sh, customize, and then clean up. So now we're going to be on the Proxmox V helper scripts. We're going to go in the search box called Debian. We're going to copy this one. 
and it's going 512 megabytes and then uh two gigabytes of storage and then one gigabyte uh one vcpu i mean okay now we're going to go over to my proxmox you're gonna go in your node and then your shell and i'm gonna clear this out and then i'm going to copy what i just copied over in the proxmox helper scripts and then um I'm going to paste it, yes, yes, and yes, so um, so if you're going to be using this production inside your home, you'll need to set a static IP, the, uh, you'll find the MAC address for that LXC, then you will, uh, you will put a static IP on it that's not in the IP pool of the DHP server and then the disk space cores and RAM I'm gonna change that so now this is all up and running and um, it's allocated an IP it's done everything it needs to do so Debian should be running on it so I'm gonna go over to the Debian over here that just started up okay you can see that it is running working so I'm going to go in the resources and then I'm going to go to the memory and I'm going to put one gigabytes and then I'm going to do, I'm going to do two gigabytes of RAM just to make sure. Okay. Now I'm going to up the disc. Oops. You can go in the volume actions and re resize. And I'm going to add the 12, 20 gigabytes to it. And then that has been added. It's 22 gigabytes. So we, we have the resources set up. So now we're going to uh, be installing Docker now. So now I'm going to go ahead and change the name of this one so it's easier to find. I'll change it to Cosmos. And I'm going to say OK. And it's going to change it over here. Eventually, you might need to, to restart. You might need to uh, refresh your... There it is. Okay, now it's changed. Okay, we we have Debian installed. We have the resources set up. We, we, we changed the name of the LXC container. So now we are going to need to install Docker. So I made a guest for it um, to do that. And uh, I, I'll put all the links down in the description for the helper scripts and the, uh, the, the readme right here. So I'm going to just copy this command and I'm going to go back over to my Proxmox. And then you'll make sure you're in your LXC, then your console, and then I'm going to paste it in here. It will install Docker and get it all up and running. So now it's going to install it, getting up and running. So now we're going to go ahead and clear it out. We're going to do Docker PS just to see if the container's running. There's no containers running, but that lets you know Docker is successfully on there. Okay, so we got the Docker installed. So now we're going to install Cosmos Cloud. And I'm going to go over to my guest. And I'm going to copy this one. So this one's going to install a the a container for Cosmos server. So I'm going to go back over to my Proxmox and then hit, here we go. We're leaving off from the Docker PS. So now we're going to paste that in and it's unable to find the container, of course, because it's a new install. Okay, so now this is installed and working and running. So we have Cosmos up, so let's get to the UI. So now we got the Docker installed, we got the Cosmos Cloud installed. So now you're gonna get your IP address and you're going to go over to the Okay, so now uh thanks for trying Cosmos and then we're gonna do a clean install. So we're gonna start. 
Docker is installed and running, so it's confirming that. Okay, now it's going to want to install MongoDB. So, you, you can either supply your own database credentials, disable the user management and, and interface, I wouldn't recommend that, a automatically create a secure database. So, that what this is going to do is it's going to pull uh, MongoDB uh, from Docker Hub and then install it. So, I'm going to connect right here. So, it's going to pull pull Mongo, the latest version, and it's going to install it on on the um, the, co the Cosmos. So now that database is connected, it's running. So now we can press next. Okay, now with the host name, um, we're going to um, do a self-signed certificate. We're going to put your uh, the IP address in there of the uh, the LXE. And then it's re recommended self-signed certificate, so we're doing, gonna do that. And then we're gonna press the update button. And then now you're gonna put in your username, and then I'm gonna put in a password. And then I'm going to put in a password again to confirm it. And then now you're gonna press the create button right here. Once you do that, it's gonna apply and restart the LXC. So there we go. And then now we're going to proceed and we're going to type in the credentials that you put in on the install. So now, okay, now we're up and running and we can see the UI. So now I'm gonna go over the UI real quick. I'll do videos for installing things and getting things up and running. Um, so you're gonna start in the home. This is where you'll see our apps that you have installed. So you're gonna go to the dashboard. There, that's currently being worked on. And uh, this is the marketplace. You'll just press the install button and get things installed. So you can go down here and um, where's, you can install Uptime Kuma right here. You can press the install. It will walk you through things, and then you just press the create button right here. And then it's gonna pull the Docker uh, cont container. It's really nice how, how it shows what Docker is actually doing. And then now it's just saying refresh the page. You're gonna wait for a few right here until the container comes back up for, there it goes. Okay, now it's back up. Now you can go over, over the home and you can see it running. You can see this, all the Docker and containers running right here in your server app. You can see the volumes that were created. You can see your networks. This is the proxy. So you can go in here, you can check, change it and set it up. You can turn on security, smart shield protection. You can see your users right here and you can see your uh, see open ID and then you can change the configuration the colors emails docker security different things like that so that's how to get cosmos cloud working on proxmox so there you have it I just installed uh, the cosmos cloud on proxmox got it all up and running started with a fresh operating system Debian I installed Docker, I installed Cosmos Cloud with the Docker command on running it, and then uh, this makes it where you can have a more secure environment and, uh, and isolate it off from your networks and all that. So I think it's a really neat system. It's pretty new, so, um, so the development is happening pretty fast, it seems like. So um, I thank you for the viewer that suggested this video and suggested me doing a tutorial on it getting installed and um so so if, if you like this tutorial subscribe comment like support the channel and uh if you need support you can go in the big bear community i created the discord so you can go in there and ask a question in the support form try to be a little bit detailed so so i can help you as much as possible and stay tuned for more